It's December in Iowa. Seven months have passed since the raid. With no decision yet over their cases, the women under house arrest say they're still living off of handouts. Now, however, with the meat plant bankrupt, it isn't just Guatemalans who have to line up for donations from the local food bank. When the plant got shut down, the whole economy just went downhill. It just, everything is tough for everybody around here. Before we had uh, 30, 35, 40 people before the raid is all that came through. And we have had as, a, as high as 165 in one afternoon. While the rest of the country had slipped into recession, Postville was grinding to a complete halt. Our sales in some areas have dropped 40% or more. It's you take a big city and take 400 jobs out, they got other places they can recoup. You take 400 plus jobs out of a town of 2,000 people, it, it hurts. This kosher supermarket was once the pride of Postville's Jewish community. It thrived while agri-processors was at full capacity. Now that the plant was barely running, the deli's customers are out of work and its shelves are half empty. Manager yeah, Morty Brown has not been paid in weeks. Clean up a little bit here, it's, it's a mess here. Every single person almost in the town, almost without exception, is, is, is really finding themselves having to, to cut back, not just a little, just, you know, really worry where, where the next, you know, dollar's gonna come from. That includes Morty's wife, Leia. The saddest thing for me is watching people leave Postville and people who don't want to leave Postville and who have been forced to leave, either because they're illegal immigrants or because they weren't hired back and there's no employment for them. Guatemalan Jose Martinez had worked at the plant for nearly four years. He was on the night shift the day of the raid and wasn't caught. But he said there was nothing here for him now. It's como in alguna canción decía, regresar a mi pueblo querido es lo mejor que me queda. Every day, someone seemed to be leaving. Ahora se le llama el pueblo fantasma. Le pusieron aquí. Ya no hay gente. Terminó el trabajo de agriproces y se terminó todo. Back in Guatemala, the village bustled with life. There were people everywhere now. But most of the spectators here, and many of the players, are deportees from Postville who had served months in jail. Now they were back, but unemployed and in debt. The Sunday soccer game, they say, is only a brief escape from their troubles. Se olvida todo pues lo que lo que hemos sufrido, pero eh, ya el día de mañana, que es el lunes, ya nos vamos a pensar dónde vamos a trabajar si no hay trabajo. Ya nos ponemos tristes otra vez. For William Toch, it seems, life has been reduced to a single function, servicing a debt that threatens to consume his family. Unless he raises $180 by the 15th of every month, the moneylender will take his family's home. In Postville, it would have taken him three days to earn this money. Here, it takes all month.
Meanwhile, his mother's cancer is spreading. By pulling together, they manage to feed themselves and make the monthly payments to the moneylender's account. Yo sé que ya al regreso ya no más voy a traer el recibo. Que sí, que una constancia que sí fui a dejar el dinero. Y viene uno desconsolado porque ya viene uno con las manos vacías. William says his only real hope of paying off his debt is by returning to the US at the risk of getting caught again. But this would mean leaving his family. If he stays, he knows that without more skills, there are few jobs. So he's teaching himself to read and write. Meanwhile, the people of El Rosario are hoping things turn around. Fallamos. If I had logrado mis hijos to stay siquiera un año más, pues hubieran logrado sus planes. Ojalá que que esto se termine, que un día haya un cambio y que ahora ese presidente nuevo, verdad, que entró, dé una oportunidad. So far, the Obama administration has been reluctant to carry out big workplace raids, pointing to the economic impact and the damage to immigrant families. Meanwhile, in Postville, the town continued to struggle in the aftermath of the raid. Temporary workers brought into agri-processors didn't work out. The Canadian businessman restarted the Postville plant last summer, and now there's yet another sign of progress. A new owner recently renamed the plant and reopened the meat line, but so far, below capacity. Late last year, the former head of the plant was convicted of fraud in federal court and now faces a state trial for labor abuses. Last December, women like Rosita finally had their ankle tags removed. Some have won visas, but most are still in legal limbo. And back in El Rosario, some have begun to risk returning to the US. But not William. When uno está aquí y dicen, tal Julano se fue a Estados Unidos, dice uno, alegre, va, él se fue. Porque uno no ha pasado los sufrimientos que ellos están pasando. ¿verdad? Hasta que cuando uno agarre ese camino, entonces uno va a conocer y mira lo que ellos han pasado. ¿verdad? El sueño americano no es nomás y no es juguete. Eso es perder uno la vida. <música>